Hey guys, I'm here with my friend Nathan Turner, who is fabulous. So because it's Monday afternoon, we were like, why don't we make margaritas and... We're gonna make a roasted corn guacamole. Okay. And a really simple pico de gallo. I'm just gonna hang around this end. This end, should we switch? <laughs> I'm gonna chop up the tomatoes. I'm gonna have you work on the coriander. Okay. As you say. <laughs> Cilantro for us Yankees. Okay. I'm gonna do a nice dice on these tomatoes. I just kinda take my knife and oh. just shave like that. Okay. And then. And then if, I'm just start slicing it like this. Oh, yeah. I'm so scared of your fingers right now. <laughs> yeah, let's give a little tuck on your finger like that and then... Okay, yeah, so and do you know the difference between shepherd's pie and cottage pie? I don't. Is it the yeah. meat inside? Yeah, yeah, I would assume. Like, yeah. I've had many an English pies in okay. my day. Shepherd's... Is beef, right? Or no? <laughs> what is it? What does shepherd's look after? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I've never even put it together. I've never even put this that together. This is amazing. Yeah. This is a lesson in life. Lucky with the Louise Rose. Second cookbook. I have three tomatoes chopped, and then to that we are adding almost a bunch of the cilantro. Okay. We're saving about one third of it for the guacamole. Okay. Wait, I've got a trick. <laughs> Do you? Let me show you. Is this... it like the bread in the mouth? No, it's well. Let me show you. Gonna... It doesn't work. It's at least amusing. Okay, let's give it a whirl. It's supposed to be wet. I'm gonna watch. <laughs> I'm gonna... Have you cut an onion before? Well, you've made cottage pie and shepherd's pie. I have, but am I going it wrong? Stop. Oh, God. I am. I'm just gonna show you, you a trick to, like, if you... <laughs> that was a half a white onion. Okay. Chopped pretty finely. I love spice. Same. And then once you get into the jalapeno, it's to seed or not, because the seeds have all the heat in them. Yeah. Sometimes I'll put a little bit, but I find that if I put like the whole, you know, inside with the seeds, it's too hot for people. Warning, don't go touching your eyes. Oh god, or ears, anything else. Nose, or something else. Yeah, you'll be, you'll, you'll be so sorry. Yeah. Um. Yeah, do you know how? Um. No? Is corn, corn's not a very English ingredient. It's not it? really. So you start here on top. Okay. It's really so, embarrassing, isn't it? Although, I know what a shepherd is, so it's okay. all good. <laughs> exactly. So you okay. just kind of open it up there and then shuck. Shuck it. Yeah. Shucks away. And you want to get all that? Yeah. Bad weave off of okay. there. Okay. That's a real bad weave, <laughs> <Right>? girl. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Okay, and then you're gonna keep that little stump on there, stem, okay. because we're gonna use that to fire it up on the on your grill. I'm gonna show you how to do it right over your gas range. Awesome. Okay, so that was two green onions, chopped white and green parts. Toss that. I'm gonna squeeze. Tomatoes, you need a lot of salt. Okay. Ooh, wowzies. <laughs> you do. Patillo. And that's about, this is completely up to you. Yeah. Now, I think salt and spice yeah. is a personal thing. Let that kind of marinate okay. in itself. So, we don't even need a pan. Oh, wow. Where are we? Okay, putting it on high. And then it's just this. No! Like you're camping. No! <laughs> yeah, this is as really? close as I'll get. Yeah. Look, <laughs> everyone, Louise is camping! <laughs> so, that's it? That is it. Can you eat that now? You can eat that. That's actually really good with a little butter and salt, or olive oil and salt. Margarita time. Yes! We're gonna make our own sweet and sour mix, or margarita mix. Good. I love margaritas, but I feel like most places that make them, or if you buy the mix, even the like chic fancy mixes, 
It's like an open invitation to a headache. The best one I've ever had was in Mexico City and it was clear color. Yes. It was not too sweet, not too bitter either. And, it, and I didn't get a hangover. That part's a lie. Yeah. Always roll your lime and why? Makes it juicier. Because it's fun. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it, it pushes the juice out. So I'm just going to do this right into this picture. Okay. And we're going to be here a while. Um, I think we're good with the limes. So I think we're going to move on to lemons. Okay. I usually do like a cup of lime juice, a half a cup of lemon, and then I'll squeeze in just one orange. Okay. To break that. Just for shits and giggles. Yeah. Well, I'm rolling an orange. I'm not, I don't really need to <laughs> <Right>? do that. <laughs> Why not? Citrus. Exactly. Look at it. It smells so good in here. It does. Two cups of water, enough li uh, limes for one cup of juice, one orange, two lemons. Yes. And then now is the time for agave to taste. Okay. Now, depending on how big of a booze bag you are, which I know is huge. Yes. So it comes the alcohol. <laughs> and sugar coated yes. base. A little. So I'm going to do one. I'm going to act as if this is for, what did I say? Four people? Four shots of tequila, like one per person. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And then some kind of orange liqueur. In this case, how do you pronounce this? Cointreau. Yeah, Cointreau. Cointreau. Cheers. It's summer. Mm. That is it's so good. Right? good. Mm. It tastes like you're having like a, a really good lemonade. An adult yeah. lemonade. Yeah. So now it's time for the guacamole. The good stuff. Yeah. So I'm just going to take, depending on how many people you're serving, but two big large avocados have a lot of meat in them. Oh. So I'll let you scoop that out. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> People that don't cook crack me up when they see like the most simple thing happening, they're like, wow. <laughs> First ingredient I always put in is the juice of a lime because it adds so much brightness, mm -hmm. but it also stops it from turning brown. I like a chunky, chunky. guacamole. I knew so, you were going to say that. Right? I have it written all through my You do. Ooh, cilantro. So I'm going to put the rest of our cilantro in there. Okay. And the amount of corn you want to you put in is completely up to you. Obviously, you don't even have to do this part, um, but it's so delicious. And mm. Every time I make it, people love it. It's a nice texture as well. As a yeah. Taste. Oh, the corn is great. It's the smokiness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, this is the best wok I have ever mm -hmm. tasted, and I'm not just saying that. Oh my gosh. So it we're gonna is. go. And Lay the table. Let's do it. Fiesta. Cheers. Cheers. 